Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If you're brand new, my name is Arab. Be sure you subscribe to the channel. Today we're reacting to Brent, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's eating 100 years of McDonald's. So without further ado, be sure to subscribe, guys, if you're brand new. And let's have In this video, we will be eating 100 years of jail food, 100 years of school lunches, <laughs> and 100 years of McDonald's. And what? How does that even work, bro? You know what I'm saying? 100 years. I wonder what it means. Does, is, does, it, does it mean like he's going back to the menu 100 years ago? Or is he eating the food that's been stored away for 100 years? Till the end, because you wouldn't believe some of the foods that were on the menu. Starting with 100 years of jail food. Liv, we're friends. You can't do this. Make yourself at home, because you're going to be in here for a while. The only people that go to jail are low-life losers who have nothing going for them. I mean, not, not not you. You you seem like a really nice guy. I see you've met pork chop. Is that what's on the menu tonight? Pork chop? Oh no, I'm pork chop. And you on the menu. Okay, before he kicks your butt, I'm gonna take you to lunch. Okay. See you later. Oh, oh, hey. oh. Alright, Brent, for your first See what happens if you celebrate too early, my niggas? That's why I shouldn't celebrate too early, man. You know what I'm saying? These niggas get you out of there. First meal, this is from the 1920s. We have lobster, we have canned oyster, we have cornbread, canned beans, and tea. So in the 1920s, lobster was actually considered a poor man's food. It was like the bugs of the sea, so no one wanted it. That's why the prisoners got it. That just looks gross. Well, you're gonna have to eat it, so bon appetit. Thanks, Liv. Cornbread, not bad. Baked beans, it's not very good. Pork chop, you wanna try the beans? I'm, I'm gonna guess that's a no. Let's try the tea next. <laughs> Why well, is Pork Chop literally sitting next to you watching you eat? Mm. If this is what prison food was like in the 1920s, I mean, count me in. Did they actually eat oysters in prison? That is nasty. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh yeah, that's not good at all. Is this thing still alive? Mm. Hey, don't play with your food. All right, let's give this lobster a try. Here we go. Mmm. 1920s prison meal was actually pretty good. Let's go on to the next year. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The lobsters are pretty good, too. I agree with you. All right, Brent, your next meal's from the 1930s, and honestly, it looks pretty depressing. Why? Because it's from the Great Depression? Yes, genius. Anyways, you have vegetable soup, you got a baked potato, you have a cookie, and you got milk. You know what? This isn't bad. Thank you. You're welcome. You know who I know wishes they had this cookie right here? Pork chop. Huh. You want this? Can't have it. You gotta come back here sometime. <laughs> I'm gonna really regret doing that. Oh my gosh. Let's try it. Ooh. I love how the baked potato has no butter, no sour cream, it's literally just potato. Really bland. I'm actually surprised they give you a chocolate chip cookie in prison. Mmm, that's milk for sure. <gasps> I'm here to break you out. It's true. Let's go. What are you doing here? Hurry, she's gonna catch up. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Let's go. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'm not Absolutely not doing anything. No, you're right. Why is she holding like a gun, bro? She's holding that thing like a gun, man. I thought it was a shotgun. So sure. Your next meal's from the 1940s. You have spinach and bologna, a salad with olive oil, applesauce, a slice of bread, and of course, milk. So the 1940s was during the war, which means that supplies were really short and prison food wasn't that great. Yeah, and now I'm stuck here eating it with you just because I tried to get you out of here. Yeah, but you did a terrible job. <laughs> that does not look good. All right, here we go. Let's give it a try. Three, two, one. Ew. I got like three out of ten. Honestly, trying my hardest to swallow this. Right I'm now. gonna say out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for the salad next. How can you mess up salad? Yeah, that's good. This is gonna be some good applesauce. That's really good, actually. You wanna split this? Yeah. What about pork chop? Keep it down. Dude, I don't think he wants any part of us. Yeah, he's scary, huh? Yeah, that's your roommate? Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. That's the driest bread I've ever had in my life. What if you dip the bread in the apple? No, what? Whoa, that's like I mean, apple it's, pie. Yeah, an apple pie right here. Look at that. Mm. That's the best thing so far. I'm turning the bag into apple pie. Oh, oh, dude, I didn't do anything. Hey, I am not going to warn you again. Your next meal is from the 1950s. We have a. <laughs> Wait, is that meant to be pepper spray? I think that's meant to be pepper spray. Bologna sandwich, french fries, some veggies, orange juice. Enjoy. Yeah, I feel like this is like better than all the other years so far. <laughs> Officer, do we get like a spork or something to eat with? Here's your hand. Are you kidding me? We can make a pizza out of this. We're gonna take the bread, put some oh, ketchup. Wow. This is looking good. We're gonna put some cheese on top. This is gonna be a five star meal once I'm done with it. We're gonna add our meat on top of our pizza, and we have our makeshift pizza, just like that. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for the 1960s, yeah, we have put it in the oven, bro. Pizza not in the oven. That's like a real pizza, man. That's terrible. Spaghetti, we have a tuna sandwich, pea soup, cheese, and again, milk. 
Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> I'm getting right. on her good side so that she can let me out earlier. I don't think she likes me very much. None of it looks appetizing except for the spaghetti. You can't go wrong with spaghetti. My question is, why would they give you just a slice of cheese? Maybe we could put it on the spaghetti? Or maybe to do this. Bro, why do you keep doing that? Here we go. This is the best thing so far. Mm. I would happily. What if niggas playing with food, man? You know, slapping that guy with cheese. That. Our tuna salad sandwich. <laughs> All right, not bad. It tastes like cardboard. Now it's time to try the pea soup. It's not just green; it's like neon green. Tell me that this was like slime, and I'd believe you. Three, two, one. Neon uh. green. <laughs> That's the worst thing ever. Oh my. Here is your meal from the 1970s. It is a neutral loaf. Basically, when the inmates are being bad, which you guys are, they take everything from the kitchen, they blend it up, and they put it in a blob like that. We're not eating that. Okay, are you gonna cry about it? Ew! If we don't eat now, we won't eat. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get rid of the whole. That's we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna go bread. like, uh, like. This is your meal from the 1980s. You have grilled chicken, mashed potatoes, a borderline spoiled banana, raisins, and hot coffee. Yay! I mean, this one doesn't look that bad. Look at this banana. So the 1980s, there was a lot of people that went to jail. So they wanted to meet the basic nutritional guidelines. So this is actually one of the healthiest meals so far. All right, let's try the grilled chicken first. Mmm, yeah, that's good. Mmm, mashed potato time. Mmm, that's delicious. You don't like it? Mmm. -mm. Why not? Dude, I haven't liked any of these. Here's your meal from the 1990s. Do you know what commissary is? I have no, no idea. That's when people actually start to care about you. I don't know who would ever care about you, but somebody did because they sent you hot Cheetos and ramen noodles. Someone actually cares about us. This is actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, compared to our last couple meals. Hey, that's our food. Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay, so a lot of people in the 1990s actually- uh, taking, a cheap, uh, taking a bite out of his food, man. That's like taking a chunk out of my pay, bro. You know made saying? prison burritos. How? With this. You take a bag of chips, you put some ramen in it, and you just crunch it up. So Drew, that's your job. And then I'm going to chop up cheese and meat to put in there as well. I just don't see how this is gonna work. Now that the hot cheetos and ramen are crunched, we're gonna add some hot water. Ooh. Now we go like this and we wrap it with a towel. Bro, it's soggy. Bro, believe in our burrito. Yeah, that's that's cooking. And somehow I got this knife, even though we're in prison. Yeah, but don't it's, make me it's use only it. to make the burrito. All right, here we go. We're gonna open this thing up. Oh wow, oh my gosh. Wait, I can't believe this actually worked. Now you add your meats and cheeses to it, and then you got yourself a prison burrito. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ew, bro, Loki, that looks fucking sickening, man. You know what I'm saying? I thought they were gonna put it in the bread and make like a sandwich. Oh my god, <laughs> I would have that good. That's actually so good. The fuck? Why is this the best thing we've had yet? Can I try that? <laughs> <laughs> so this is the year 2000. In this year, it was very popular to use these items to make your own prison cake. I'm sorry, you prison what? Finally, dessert. You got a honey bun, you got some cornflakes, you got a cookie, and bread with jam. It, how do we make the cake? Figure it out. You know a little something called a prison cake? I know a little bit. Could you help us make it? As long as I can get some. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you got yourself a deal. All right, so pork chop, what do we do first? Take all of that. All of this? Put it in this bag. All right, we're trusting pork chop. Pour it all in. All right, do we, do we put the water too? Mash it first. You okay. mash it? Like I do people's faces in there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Easy pork chop, it's a warning. Just not too much. There you go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, we got ourselves a prison cake. It does smell like a cake. Cheers. Prison cake. Oh, mm. okay, I can see how they can say this is a cake. <laughs> no, it is, I'm surprised. Like, the fact that you can make a cake in prison. I'm gonna take a nap. You like right. it? No, oh, what, dude, wait, wait, what are you doing with it? Oh, that's our, dude. He just took our prison cake. <sighs> now it's time to move on to 100 years of school Next. lunches. All right, Brent, your first meal is the 1920s. What is that? In the 1920s, Hot Meals were finally introduced to kids. And so we've got boiled beef, bread, veggies, and a big whole glass of milk. Hey man, I can't go around with beef and a little bit of sex or so, or sea salt. No, oh, because you're saying? a growing boy. We need those big strong bones. Honestly, this kind of looks like dog food. Dude, that looks disgusting. <laughs> I slaved over a hot stove for hours for this, and this is the appreciation I get. Well, let's see if it tastes good. Okay, here we, here go. we go. Cheers. Mm -hmm. What do we think? I don't know if I like it. I don't know either. No effect. We can tell you put in time, but it's just not that good. I put in the time. I didn't put in the effort. Oh. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. We just got a plain slice of bread. Did you even cook this? No. I know what I'm gonna do with this. Wait, uh, bread! What? 
Why did you do that? Uh, that's fine. Don't you guys think that was funny? Yeah. yeah. No, that was not, that was not funny. Oh yeah. Hey, oh, crap. <laughs> mm. The bread is good. Great. That's the one thing I didn't cook. <laughs> Well, so this nigga actually brought his students into the class, bro. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, now it's time to try the veggies. Okay. Choo -choo! Oh, wow. That's a lot of carrots. And what do we think? Not good. Mmm, it's good. Good thing we have milk to wash it all down. Okay, considering this is the 1920s, it's not that bad. No, it's not bad. All right, for the 1930s, we've got the Great Depression, and so to lift some spirits, we've got a PB and J wow. vegetable soup, an apple, and a good little coffee for you. Um, wait, excuse me. What's There's no called? jelly in this PB and J. It's just peanut butter. We ran out. It was oh. expensive. <laughs> okay, I'm me. allergic to peanut butter. Is there any other options? I mean, I can just um. Yeah. All right. There you go. Oh. Oh, I, guess, I mean, that did solve the problem. I'm right? surprised that they gave kids coffee. Dude, kids would be bouncing off the walls. Choo choo. Mm. <laughs> oh. Scrum shit. Bouncing off the walls. Yes, no. don't we love it? No. We love it. Mm. How is it? Does it taste like it's from the 30s? Yeah, this apple is old. <laughs> <laughs> we have some coffee. I actually never drink coffee because when I do, I get like too crazy. Like, I just can't. Oh. <laughs> oh, making me crazy! Try it! And what do we think? Whoa, that's good. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that's really good. <laughs> Yo, try this, guys. <laughs> really no, don't give the kids coffee. Why? Because they're, they're going to bounce off the wall. Hey, if the kids in the 1930s can do it, why can't they? Come on, Brad. Shut, 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 shut. And the 1940s. <laughs> we've got cream chip beef, we've got bread and butter, steamed veggies, fruit cup, and another glass of good milk. What is that? Is that moving? What are you talking about? It, it looks, looks delicious. Really? Oh, oh my god. Tell me this isn't delicious, right? What is Wait, that? There's like mold on this on these veggies. Alright, well, you know what? Because of World War II during this time, it was very hard to come by fresh produce. So a lot of the times the meals would come a little uh Rotten. Ew! Let's give this a try. It was during the Great Depression, right? So they just wanted everyone to be even more depressed and started making this. <laughs> I think so. Mmm. Oh, Taste the chip beef. Ew! Bro. I don't like it! Ew! Get off my feet! Looks like they're being tortured, bro. What's going on, boy? The thing is, they like it. Next, we got the fruit. You know what? This doesn't look half bad. It might be rotten. No, that's actually pretty good. Okay, then we got some veggies. Oh my god. What is that? Ew! Like hair. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, not mine. It's not this mine. This definitely looks like yours. We also have a piece of bread here. Yep. Hey, can I borrow this real quick? Yeah, for sure. Oh, wow! Oh, 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 Mm. Yep, the milk's good. Let's move on to the 1950s. All right, for the 1950s, we've got meatloaf, garlic bread, fish sticks, apple pie, and another big la We should start with the fish sticks. The fi it's not even a freaking glass. It's a freaking plastic. Fish sticks aren't bad. The garlic bread looks really good. Mm -hmm. You did a good job on this, Miss Lunch you. Lady. Thank you. Yeah. I feel like you're starting to like us. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to like you. Oh! oh yeah! Wow. How's that garlic, that garlic bread? I was falling in love with a crook. It's really yummy. Mm. You know, you two look really cute together. <laughs> <laughs> I never understood meatloaf. I never was a fan of it. And oh, what God. do we think? Oh, enough with the faces! It's really good. Yeah, my eyes are watering. It's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm super full it's... right now. Ew! <laughs> Ooh, he's eating it. It's all right. Let's move on to the 1960s. Yeah, please. The 1960s. We've got pizza, which was actually the first year that pizza was introduced. And then we've got PB and J with the J. Yes. We've got the jelly in there. And then we've got fish steaks with tartar sauce, mashed potatoes, and chocolate milk. Oh my gosh, chocolate milk! Okay. I feel like this is the best lunch. Bro, wow, that chocolate milk looks like strawberry. It looks pink. So my chocolate looks pink, man. It's making it look black. <laughs> Mmm. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Hey, you put an effort in this one. I, I can did. tell. I did. Dude, tell me that chocolate doesn't look purple to you. Microwave and all. Compared to jail food, which I tried before this, this is so much better. Dude, I can eat this whole plate. Do you guys want to give it a try? Yeah. yeah. So guys, we got a bunch of subscribers to be in this video. So if you're a subscriber and you want to be in the next video, all you have to do is like the video and comment down below, done. You guys are all subscribed, right? Yeah! Let's get to the 1970s. You boys are going to like this one. The 1970s, we've got McDonald's. Let's get to the 19th video and comment down to be in this video. So if you're a subscriber and you want to be in the next video, all you have to do is like the video and comment down below. Done. You guys are all subscribed, right? Yeah!
Let's get to the 1970s. You boys are gonna like this one. The 1970s, we've got McDonald's. This is the first time fast food was ever introduced. It's called Big Mac. 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 Big Mac.
I don't think I took off the head. Okay. Really? <laughs> it's Pearson! Oh my god, it was Pearson this whole time. Are you kidding me? First, the frozen burrito. Looks a little stiff. Oh, oh god. god. It's dry and... I don't remember having a frozen burrito at school, to be honest. I don't know, maybe in America only, but here in Australia... It has no flavor. I remember good things about these smiley face fries. They always looked so good, but they never tasted as good as they look. They look very happy. Right? Ooh. You got the frozen fruit, I got the veggies. The veggies are... terrible. <laughs> the fruit is... Whoa, really good. Really? Yeah. You know what's interesting is that the vegetables never changed. The 1920 no. vegetables were exactly the same as this. Now it is time for 100 years of McDonald's. And right behind me is the first ever McDonald's. All right, starting off with the 1940s, your first meal is a hamburger, potato chips, and milk. Potato chips? Snow chips, potato chips. Chips? Yes. Where's the french fries? Those are the french fries. What? what? Only came same thing, but just different names, I guess. Came out to 39 cents, so that is crazy. Milkshake is 20 cents in 1940. Okay, I want to live in 1940. Yeah, what, what are we doing here? So we have the potato chips. I love McDonald's fries, so they're good. What do you think? Not good. They're not better than the fries, though. Definitely not better than the fries. No. Okay, so we got our hamburger right here. This is the moment of truth. Yeah, moment of truth right here. This hamburger better not actually be from the 1940s or we're going to die. <laughs> Looks like an ordinary hamburger. Let's give it a try. How is it? <laughs> it's gonna die. You know what funny thing is, bro? The old Mac food doesn't go off, man. Because I've seen this video where this lady stores the food for like over 100 years. And there's still no mold on the bread, no nothing on the chips. Like the Mac's food doesn't expire, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that caused a lot of conspiracy theories. You know what I'm saying? But we're not going to talk about that now. Well, let's enjoy the video. Guys, make sure you subscribe for a brand new, man. I love you. Oh, bro. Oh my gosh, that's good. Wait, what? Oh wow, it tastes better than normal. It's really good. All right, let's move on to the 1950s. Order up? Yes, I am starving. Okay, this is the 1950s. All right, let's see what we got. French fries? This is the first time that McDonald's introduced French fries, and they're actually called golden French fries. And they're probably not what you're used to from McDonald's. Why? Well, because they were cooked in beef fat. These look different. I mean, they, they these aren't. Oh, so these ones were actually cooked in lard, not cooking oil. Wow, that's amazing. I wonder if it would taste better if it was cooked in lard. The french fries that everyone loves. How is it? Ah, these taste like cardboard. This is the 1950s, okay? I don't think they really knew how to make them right. So you don't have to... This is like cardboard. Dude, 1950s is not even that far away, man. Those niggas know how to cook nicer food than you. This time you have a cheeseburger. Why is that? More people were ordering cheeseburgers than hamburgers. All right, well, let's see if they taste better than the hamburger. Mm -hmm. I personally like cheeseburgers way better. I don't like it. Me too. I like cheeseburgers. I think it's good. Now it's time for the milkshake. How much was this? This was 25 cents. Oh my gosh. Whoa. God damn, bro. Niggas been making. I wish it was still that much. Probably five bucks now. See if it's the, as good as a normal McDonald's shake. Is it? Whoa. It's like very ice creamy. Okay, the only thing I'm disappointed in is the french fries. These, yeah, they suck. Well, hopefully in the years to come, <laughs> they suck. Um, the french fries get better. Let's move on to the 1960s. Order for Bert. Uh, it's Brent, but yeah, I'll take it. Okay, this is the 1960s. <laughs> Brent is Brent, I'll take it. Okay. Okay. Look at this packaging. Cherry pie right here. Orange juice. This is an orange aid. You have a Big Mac. Wait, what? So the 1960s were when the Big Mac was introduced and also the filet fish No Whoa. way. There's no such thing as a cherry pie though anymore. No. There is, but it's called, um, this is a different name. It's called an apple pie. It's not cherry pie, it's apple pie. No, so now it's an apple pie, but in the 1960s they had cherry. All right, let's start with the Big Mac. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. The, the apple pie is like, I was a bit spectacle when I tried. I was a little bit like pessimistic. I thought it was gonna be shit, but it's one of the best things I've ever tasted from Macca's, bro. If you guys haven't tried the apple pie, you definitely should try it, bro. It was actually so good, man. It's the best apple pie I've had in my life, man. You know what I'm saying? And I've had apple pies before from like grandma's cooking them you know what i'm saying and stuff like that from grandma's from church and stuff like that but the best one from mac is hands down this is what mcdonald's is known for today so i'm excited to see how the big mac is in the 1960s whoa wow this is like a mass look how big That's this huge. is i mean Same i can see why thing. i call it the big mac i can't believe that the big mac is 60 years old do you think this one is 60 years old um i hope not all right should i just give it a try just okay, do it, it just go try. for it all right here we go Dude, let's just look like a normal big mac from mac is and just in a different uh, rapid, rapid. Yeah. yeah, that's that's good. Honestly, the Big Mac tastes exactly how it does today. All right, well, for the next item, we have the. 
Yeah. Yeah, it tastes exactly of course. Filet of fish. <laughs> what? Dude, this thing is tiny. <laughs> Wait, it is so small. The filet of fish is actually still on the menu today as well. I've never tried one of these, so I'm actually curious. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> Try to taste like fish. Let's try the orangeade. So I guess this is like an, a lemonade, but like orange. Oh, that's good. This isn't on the menu anymore. It is a cherry pie from McDonald's. I love desserts. I'm excited. Okay, all right. It's time to give this thing a try. Here we go. These pies are also they are, they are really, really good, man. They look trash, but they're actually really good. Oh. Oh, that was a big bite. Oh my gosh. Mmm, that is so good. Wow, that's actually really good. You did good on this one. I don't know why they discontinued it. It was really good. Here we have the 1970. Innovation, maybe. I don't know. Those niggas want to keep innovating, but even if it's good, they'll just keep innovating. You know what I'm saying? But there's a saying if, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, there's some pretty interesting things on this platter. Does this say mixed spaghetti? Yeah. That's crazy. McDonald's had spaghetti. Apparently. That's... But they didn't have it for very long, so it might not have been that good. I had no idea. Neither did I. Hello! Oh, that looks nasty. I'm actually kind of scared now. Let's dig in here. Okay. Cheers. You don't like it? It's not that good. Is there no. barbecue sauce on this? I don't even know. Mixed spaghetti, not it. Sorry. You have to try this. Oh, I'm not eating that. Uh, you made it. You have no. to eat it. I put some weird stuff in there. Huh? All right, so next is the quarter powder. I put some weird stuff in there. Quarter powder came out in the 1970s. Oh. It was a big hit because they still have it on the menu today. That's obviously. right, they do. I saw that this quarter pounder in the 1970s only went for 75 cents. Look at this thing. Hey, the patty is so much bigger than like the other patties that we've had. Mm, pretty good. Really? Yeah, that's why I go for double quarter pounds. Yeah, that's okay, so I think this is the craziest thing we've had so far. Onion nuggets. How does that even work? I mean, there's onion rings at Burger King or Hungry Jack's for onion nuggets. Wow. Yeah, these look a little concerning. I'm not gonna lie. So before McDonald's came out with chicken nuggets, they tried to do onion nuggets. You what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound right. Onion nugget. Here we go. Cheers. They're almost like a like an onion ring, but like in nugget form. Do you think this is better than the chicken nuggets? I think so. Really? What? Yeah. So this is the triple. No, I'm allergic to onion. Not allergic, but I just don't hate it. I can't eat it, bro. I can't stand it. Ripple, it's chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla ice cream all in one. Now they only have vanilla ice cream, I think. Yeah, right? oh, and their machine's always broken. I'm they also have chocolate. I'm surprised their machine was working in the 1970s. It has oh. been broken since the 1970s. Wait, this is good. It like swirls in your mouth. It's like, is it strawberry? Is it chocolate? Is it vanilla? It's the triple ripple. Triple, triple ripple. ripple. Honestly, I would say besides the mixed spaghetti, the 1970s was a good time for McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Here we have the 1980s where the Happy Meal was introduced. Okay, I'm happy now. This is the first one that they've ever made. The very first. 1979 McDonald's. Oh, there's jokes. Why do elephants need trunks? I don't know why. Because they don't have Glove compartments. <laughs> okay, <That's> all right, <laughs> let's, just, let's open it up. Yo, da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. Some French fries. There's so many. Oh my Look how God. small they are. Some chicken nuggets. 1980s Barbie toy. Some apple slices. We're gonna open these chicken nuggets. I am so excited. Chicken nuggets are my favorite. Whoa. Whoa. They literally put a compartment for your sauce. Mmm. <laughs> they put a compartment. That's pretty sick, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But there's no sauce in that compartment. What the heck? You can never go wrong with the chicken nuggets at McDonald's. No, this was the first time that they had these, and they taste amazing. All right, Ashton, onion nuggets or the chicken nuggets? Dude, I'm gonna have to say onion nuggets. Really? Yeah. So no, you were bad. Yeah, I want to open the toy. So this is from the 1980s. Oh my god. Whoa. It's Barbie. But there's one more thing. In the 1980s, McDonald's also had pizza. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whoa! Pizza Domino's might have run out of business. Oh bro. my gosh! I could have never guessed that this was from McDonald's. Whoa. What? What? Here we go. Well, it's actually really good. It's not bad. Not my favorite. For McDonald's pizza, I would say it's pretty good. Alright, let's move on to the 1990s. In the 1990s, they came out with Super Size Me, but it was originally called a Dino Size because it was in collaboration with Jurassic Park. Look at this drink! It is bigger than Ashton's head! The Big Mac <laughs> is double the size, and then you get an extra, extra large fry. This is the Super Size Me cup, and this is the cup that you could get for, like, water. That's three hamburgers in one. Okay, give it a try, I guess. Three, two, one. Oh my god! Oh, dude, that looks so good, man. Why does niggas do this to me, man? God. Bro, that is crazy. How that does someone eat that whole thing? I don't know how I'm gonna finish all of these fries. There's no way. This is just too big. And then this super-sized me Coke is way too big. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little dinosaur. Look. 
That's kind of fun. Yeah, how old are you guys? How old are you? Stop ruining the fun. Here's the 2000s. It has a lot of new items, but a lot of these aren't even on the menu anymore. Okay, I don't recognize any of these. Neither yeah. do I. What is this? Why? I recognize the chips. That's a salad. A <laughs> mixed salad shaker. That salad looks familiar, cup. but I've actually never seen so it. So this is a mixed salad shaker. It's just like a portable salad. You just shake it. All right, so we got the dressing on top, some croutons, and some lettuce, and we just... Oh, wow. Oh. That's convenient. Yeah. I'll try some of this salad. Yeah, that's uh, that's some pretty good salad. They gotta bring these back. Okay, hold on. I don't know if I'm eating this. Mick Lobster? I I don't even know. May or may not be good. I thought you worked there. How do you not know? Uh, I'm not the chef. I'm just the waitress. Why don't they sell the Mick Lobster anymore? What happened? Well, I don't think people really liked it. Should we even try it? Yeah, of course. Three, two, one. Uh... <laughs> nah, bro. Why are these niggas gonna eat like that, man? That's gay, bro. Judging you know by their faces, I don't think they like it. It's not my favorite. The Mick Lobster is not very good. All right, next up. Is the world famous Big Rib? Wow, dude, they had that a couple of months ago, you know what I'm saying? But it's gone now. It's pork. It's really good. Big Rib was introduced in 2000. That is pretty cool. Look Whoa. at that. Whoa. Nice, juicy Big Rib. Mmm. Oh, it's actually kind of good. That's what I'm telling you. It's like literal rib. And then, of course, we have. Some McDonald's french fries and a Coke. This is 2010 when the Mick Cafe was introduced. So this Ooh. looks so familiar. Yeah, I had this yesterday. Mocha Frappuccino, Mick Cafe, a Coke, some chicken nuggets. They didn't come out with any new food. It was more so about the cafe. Why is the server trying our food? This is really good. If you're a subscriber and you want to be in a video just like this one, like the video and then comment down below with done. I did that already. You niggas already seen that, guys. You know what I'm saying? But, guys, thank you so much if you made it this far. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to this guy's channel, too, guys. And check out my other videos. I love you all. Have a great rest of your day, man. It's your boy, Ara. And I'm out, man.